Hey guys, what's happening? So, this is part four of the uh, ball screw conversion. I'm trying not to make the videos too long, but... Um, so I'm currently printing out the extension piece right here. So I needed to extend over my cable chain. Um, I actually designed this on a different, it's on my Thingiverse page, the cable chain system. So the use actually mounted to the top of my stepper. Now that I converted this whole new upright thing here, the whole Z-axis, it's going to be an extension that comes over to the hits of 2020 rail. So, that's what that is. I'm printing that out right now. Alright, so I've already created the mounts for the extruder 52 millimeter, not extruder, but the 52 millimeter uh, spindle. So, uh, I'm going to get that off there. I printed this out on 100% infill. All these parts will be on my Thingiverse page. So if you want to do this ball screw or do just like this, even my all my stuff, my chip containment system, all that stuff, um, all these things, so probe holder. Um, all right, so I gotta get this off, and I actually created it. Uh, there's a 10 millimeter gap, so I can put some clamping force on it. And I have some. Uh, it's actually M5 screws, which I have somewhere around here. So I'm gonna get that unscrewed and uh, get the thing mounted first. Then I go to the wiring. I'm going from a NEMA 17 to a NEMA 23, so I gotta figure out the wiring situation too. So I right, got the spindle on there. All right, like I said, it's really solid. It's 100% plastic. Uh, I gotta get these things figured out. Uh, what's funny is it's in, it's in Chinese, so I don't know what what's what, what the color is what. Like the colors are actually in Chinese. Um, so I gotta get those. I'm actually gonna be, obviously the cores are long enough, so I'm gonna try to find a way to adapt it to the existing plug. In case I ever have to go back to a NEMA 17 or something again, I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna re-fish all this down again. So, um, I might have to take uh, one of those connectors off on my extra bores. I might have an extra connector, I'll have to look. Uh, so time to get done with the wiring here. So, if you're not familiar with stepper motors and stepper boards, um, you know, there's typically going to be two different channels, you know, your A and your B, and each actually has a color code. So I want to match, I want to make sure whatever's coming off the board is actually wired correctly, because the coloring is a little bit different between that connector, the stock connector, and um, this motor here, so this new 23. So, it's got to make sure they're in the right order, and uh, we're going to have serious problems. Right, got some connectors on there. Yeah, I didn't want to cut the leads off just because in case I ever use a stepper motor for something else, uh, I didn't want to actually uh, have to take it apart and rewire internally. Um, so that's actually what I'm using. Got this over to Marvac. But uh, I just cut a couple of these things off and then I'm just going to slide those pins into the right spots on this connector. So in case I ever want to go to, like, to a NEMA or whatever, NEMA, back to NEMA 17 or whatever, uh, the connector's there. And plus, if I get this messed up, I, I, can, just, I can flip them around. All right, so I need to get my air assist back on. So I created this little uh, adapter piece to adapt the 2020 rail to one of these. Um, there were what brand is it? Uh, Sucky. So uh, I think in my original, you know, 3018 uh, air assist page, I actually had a link to this thing. All right, so there's definitely something going on with my NEMA 23 motor. Well, I don't think actually the motor's bad. I think the control board doesn't put off enough current to control this thing. And it's kind of sucks it's one of those ones with the integrated drivers. I do actually have MKS DLC 2.0 boards. Made their videos about that. Created some boxes for them. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I can't get this thing to work right. So, at least with the, the current board. So, I do uh, have some extra uh, NEMA 17 drivers. Um, this is the original one that came off it. It has an integrated lead screw. I can't use that one. But I do actually have a NEMA 17 from... Uh, it's actually a larger higher amperage one, which you want. You want more more holding force. Um, so I'm going to use that, but I didn't like last night I created this uh, NEMA 23 adapter. NEMA, or NEMA 23 to NEMA 17 adapter. Which is going to go up here. And it's going to adapt it to a NEMA 17. And I already have the coupler. The coupling, I'll show you what's up. But yeah, it goes, it screws from the bottom here. So i got to pull out the uh, support material. But, and it goes like that. It's right in there, and like that, and then yeah, it's gonna screw, so it's gonna clear. But all right, all right, done with this thing. So that's what a 3018 CNC is actually should look like. Um, I mean, you could buy from the factory like this. I had to buy it like this. 
uh, ball screw. Um, I mean, NEMA 17 is not great, but you know, as long as you're not cutting anything crazy, you're not going too fast. Um, so let me show you real fast. So it sucks I had to go to the NEMA 17, but I just don't, I don't think the driver could put enough current out to, to run it. Uh, to on. It's definitely a lot quieter, uh, less vibration. Uh, before it was super noisy, a lot of vibration. All right, so I'm gonna have to cut some metal. Uh, not right now, but uh, in the future videos, I'll be cutting over aluminum. I gotta cut out. What I wanted to do was, you know, originally when I pulled it out of there, I was trying to make it one of these vices right here. I was trying to do this in aluminum, and then I caught and I pulled the bushing out. So that's why I had to do the whole ball screw thing. So I'm turn that off. All right, so on this video, I had to create uh, the 52 millimeter spindle mount. Um, I had to create the adapter, the NEMA 23 to NEMA 17 adapter. I had to create my air air system, the adapter piece here to first to a 2020 rail. Um, oh yeah, then also had to uh, the uh, the cable chain. So before. Um, I don't know where I put it, but the cable chain used to mount to the top of my, uh, here it is. So it used to mount to the top of my uh, NEMA 17, uh, because it was lower, you know, I could do that. But this one just mounts to the 2020 right here. And I have zip tie holes, so they basically can zip tie it in there. All this stuff will be my Thingiverse page on my uh, ball screw conversion page. So, all right. Hopefully this will work good. You know, actually, it was, I don't know, it was kind of expensive, I guess. Now, each of these ball screws was like 25 bucks. So we got 25, 25, 50. Uh, this thing was like, I think it was like 80 bucks. I already had the I had NEMA 17, so. Um, yeah, then probably about 20 hours in filament, probably. Yeah, because I printed this out on 100% infill, so. All right, looking good. All right. Yeah, I might upgrade to a bigger spindle. You know, eventually. Uh, if this doesn't cut it, so. Alright guys, cool.